Where is it? I'm sure I saw it. But where? Hey, got a fish? Sure. Okay, okay. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering what a guy like me who lives by fishing is doing in a place like this. I know. Tell me about it, buddy. It's a long story. I haven't seen a shellfish in two years. But I remember, back in the old days, we used to live in the villages spread along our beautiful river. A whole different matter than this trickle of water. Life was no picnic, but the river would provide us with everything we needed, from food to medical plants. It was also the locus of our cultural and religious traditions. All our life would flow with the river. Then one day my cousin came. I have a cousin who lives upstream. He doesn't fish. He's in the farming branch. My cousin came to see me, happy as a clam, to tell me that he made it rich. He explained that white people, nice people with money from publicly owned banks, had recruited him for a new job. From the following day, he would be employed as a worker in a damn construction site. Well, I said, bricks versus artichokes. I can't see the difference. No, he said, you don't understand. No more working our tails off on the land. These people will give us a new house, electricity, education for our children, plus a nice little nest egg of money. In exchange, he had to move to a fantastic place and stop working his feathers to the bone. The offer was really tempting. Something worth getting one's beak into. Very few refused. Some protested or, or filed complaints. But they had to move away anyway due to what was about to occur. The majority migrated, hoping for a better life. And so they started working for these people who were so rich and generous. And what happened when the dam was completed? Oh, I do remember that day well. It's easy to tell what happened downstream. Our beautiful river became a small rivulet. However, when it rains and they have to protect the dam, this is what happened. Basically, this has meant no more fish, no more plants, and no more village. All gone, all of a sudden, without any warning. I was just about to go and have words with my cousin when the unexpected hit those who lived upstream, too. There was no more work, and their new houses were slums. There was no electricity at all. What's more, they couldn't go back to farming because the village, the land, everything was flooded. And the new land available? It was a small parcel to be shared among many, including the communities that were already living there. And who were, how can I say, not thrilled about the idea? Well, in fact, we are a little angry. We'd like to be compensated and get back to the life we had before the dam was built. We'd like those who caused all this not to ruin other villages. In the end, we don't even have electricity.